originally from California, so it's a really big change for me. Um, so I think just looking at the weather every morning and seeing how um, how cold it's going to be, whether um, like the difference between the temperature outside and the wind chill was a big difference for me. Well, I had like a fall jacket, now I wear like my ski jacket. Mm -hmm. um, and I have like pet gloves, mittens that I have to put on every morning. It was hard to conceive of what it would feel like, so it was kind of just going into it blindly, like depending on how cold I felt. I remember my first year in September, I was wearing long johns already, I was wearing like tights underneath my pants, so getting advice from other people on you know, how to dress, um, the layering of clothes, um, and shoes, and a coat, so all of that stuff was kind of advice from other people. Um, I think that was the biggest. I'm from like North Chicago, so it's pretty cold there too, but um, definitely brought all my cold gear. Like I snowboarded in the winter, so I brought like all that gear and I was like prepared to wear it to class if I had to. I just knew I was going to have to wear it every day. Mm -hmm. I do ride a bike when it's not winter, so I usually um, stick to the bus. I used to ride my bike. like the first two months of school to class every single day, in the morning especially because it got me there quicker, but um, now I don't ride my bike anymore because it's like way too cold on my face and everything. So I walk to class um, probably the same way I biked. I mean, I just take my normal route, but I definitely bundle up more. Yeah, I would say layers was, was the advice that was given to me. Just you have to know how to layer up. You know, shirts, sweaters. Just to make sure that you have like appropriate cold gear because it does get really cold out there. I mean, we're just seeing the start of it now. So just make sure you have hat, gloves, mittens, scarf, like snow gear and everything ready for the winter.